Hi everyone and welcome to another SinusJ Insulator video. In this video we will be covering the winter heat loss with bathroom fans. Let's start the video. So in some of the pictures that uh, I've shown, you do see uh, some excess ice buildup on the gutters. Now, a lot of the times, uh, that is going to be one of the first signs where uh, that is where you'll have the heat loss located. And then you can take a look at your attic to see what is happening. What I'm showing you here is uh, me installing a R20, so about eight inches of loose fill insulation, just to show how uh, that can affect the attic and uh, its components. So the eight inches of insulation will actually not cover uh, most uh, bathroom fans. And so during the installation, unfortunately, uh, the installer will um, install a even uh, loose fill uh, installation. And uh, so that basically means that any bathroom fans, uh, anything that's uh, above eight inches will actually not be covered. And you're also thinking that the trusses will only be covered by four inches as well, so that's all another area uh, of heat loss that I'll be talking about in another video. I show here also a application of an R32, so that's 12 inches of loose fill, and still that only covers two inches above the actual uh, cover of the uh, bathroom fan or pot lights. So that is uh, one of the main areas that uh, you'll notice in the attic if the bathroom fan is especially on the um, corner of your house, like is mine, uh, you may be susceptible to that heat loss, which then creates ice, uh, which uh, then creates icicles and then can uh, damage uh, the, the underside of your roof and then there could be leakage uh, in your uh, home. So that's definitely something to avoid and to look at. Uh, the other thing is the disconnected bathroom fan, one of the worst ones, because with that, uh, it's not so much that you don't have enough insulation, is that once the bathroom fan is disconnected, the exhaust will push out, uh, if there is loose fill, any loose fill around the uh, bathroom fan, and the bathroom fan is therefore exposed, has no insulation above it, massive heat loss, again, during the winter, uh, especially during, you know, you've got your shower, you've got your bath, all that is uh, massive heat sources and that tra travel through your drywall, even through your, um, well, your vapor barrier will trap the vapor, but the actual heat transfer uh, will not be resisted. So the heat will just escape right through the bathroom fan and then it will start melting the snow directly above it and that's where you've got your ice dam. So make sure to look for that. And it is for those reasons that I recommend that uh, you install an R60 of loose fill insulation. So that's 22 and a quarter inches of insulation. That way uh, you are guaranteed you will have at least an R32 or one foot above your bathroom fan as well as uh, your exhaust hose. So make sure that uh, you give a nice thumbs up to this video. If you don't, then this uh, video won't be shown or shared uh, to others that need to know this information. So make sure you do that as well as subscribe 